Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this very interesting little pocket knife right here. This is the Wee Knives Wisp. Um, first off, full disclosure, I want to thank my buddy Zelric for sending this guy along. Now look, I don't know if he he has a relationship with Wee. I think he handles a lot of their service, so I'm just gonna put the disclaimer out there. The thing is, Zell knows I talk about the good, the great, the bad, the ugly. It might be a gem, it might be junk, and indeed I've called some of the stuff he sent me junk. So presumably he knew that, and I've tried not to let that influence, you know, uh, roughly anything. But nonetheless, it seems like a good idea to fully disclose that. Um, next thing, let's do a size comparison right quick. Here is the Spydeco Delica. Here is the Ontario Rat number two and the Ontario Rat number one. And then one of the knife that is similar in some ways but completely different in another is, is the uh, this is the Wee Knives Vapor, I believe. So um, there you go. And uh, yeah, that should do it for size comparison. Let's go on ahead and jump into the good, the great, the bad, and the ugly of the Wee Knives Wisp right here. So on the good side, um, uh, uh, to start with, this guy is ergonomically great. Um, this is really, really good ergonomic work for a bunch of reasons. The clip positioning, this clip could easily be hot spotty, but they've done enough work by contouring this down, by rounding this off, that this feels really good in the hand. Whether you're back here, which works fine, or whether you're choked up like this, and for me and my relatively smaller hands, this is great. This feels really good, and coupled with this jimping here, with the balance of it overall, um, this is really really, really, really well done. Ergonomically, I love this freaking knife, and this is a really impressive piece, so that's good. Next thing, the inlay work on this is quite nice. You can see here that they've gone kind of a, it's an interesting tack, in that they've they used uh, the flat titanium here, which reduces the amount of titanium machining, but then they've added this bulge out of carbon fiber on both sides, and they've even adjusted the clip so that it works well with that. Um, and the fact that it's both on both sides is nice, but it also improves the ergonomics a little bit, giving you something and it just looks freaking great. They've done really good work here. Um, it may bother some people that the inlay is a little bit above the... Um the inlay is a little bit above the edge of the titanium here. I um, mean, it might maybe snag on something if you're doing like this across a surface with uneven nails. I don't freaking know. But you know what? I like these inlays a lot, and the fact that they're doing them is just excellent. So that's good. Next thing, there are no holes or obstructions on the blade here. We has gone all in on flipper opening. This just opens with the flipper, and they've got these little kind of grooves here, although they're very, very shallow. Uh, and they're also out of the slicing path. So generally speaking, this is just, it's a straight slice slice, and that's that's absolutely great. Next thing, this is a very easy carry. Um, You can see here that the knife hangs relatively low, and they've contoured the knife such that the pocket pecker is kind of kept out of the scene by the fact that the, the knife curves back in that direction. So this is really, really nice in the pocket, and frankly, uh, pocket-wise, it's not very big. If we put it up next to the Spydeco Delica, this fits almost entirely within the outline of the Delica, and thickness-wise, it's not super thick either. So just a trifle thicker than the Delica, although you've got these uh, raised screw things on there, which we, come on. Um, but anyways, so that's really nice. Um, speaking of the clip, it is a very nice clip. It's got plenty of spring to it, um, plenty of ramp to it. This is really good. And also, it's reversible. Uh, you welcome lefties. So that's that's really excellent. And then, of course, it is a Wii knife, which means it has a lot of the things that you've come to expect from Wii knives. The action is great. Listen to that thing. Oh, my God. Locks up the perfect, maybe... 50, 60 percent, someplace in there. Blocks up beautifully, though. 100 percent, always reliable opening. That's great. On the close, um, it's not a very heavy blade, so it doesn't fall shut necessarily, but if you just kind of pop it, it's closed. Beautiful. Um, the inlays are well done. The finishing, the rounding is great. All of the surfaces are well chamfered, even the inside of here. The lock bar top is chamfered. I mean, seriously, look at that little chamfer they put right on the top of the lock bar there. That's nice. I mean, this is a really, really well-executed knife, as we knives tend to be. We has absolutely become my favorite uh, Chinese, knife make, uh, Chinese knife maker at this point. And frankly, they're doing really good even all around the world. This is a really nice Piece. And the fact that they've now abandoned things like the star screws and the, the, the names that were completely unmemorizable, um, they, they're doing such damn good work. And so this is another example of that damn good work. By the way, one thing to highlight, these grooves here turn into jimps on the top there, then go to the other side. Um, it's not a perfect alignment, but they are centered on the jimps. Nice. Can't argue with that. So overall, on the good side, there is a lot to love about this guy. It is a great build quality. It is a very solid clip that is reversible. It's very easy to carry. There are no holes or obstructions on the blade uh, and the, the great inlay work and just absolutely stellar ergonomics. I love this knife in my hand. It was a real pleasure to use in that regard. Um, on the great side, 
This is super slicey. I mean, holy crap, guys, a knife meant to cut. If we measure the, uh, the stock thickness on this guy, we're coming in at, now it looks to be about 0.1 inches here, which is a relatively thin stock thickness, and then it comes down to a very acute edge here. Um, it, they probably, and even you could shop in this probably a little bit more acutely, but you know what? That's, that's absolutely great. And the fact that it's S35VN steel, which should be able to stand up to that, just makes this a real pleasure to use. I mean, look at the freaking tip on this thing. That is amazing. And especially if you compare it to some of Wii's other pieces or, you know, other knives, uh, it's just like, okay, uh, where, where the heck's the, that guy? Um, just a second here. Another knife that I'm going to be reviewing here shortly is this little guy. This is the uh, Viper Knives and so or so. Which of these knives is going to cut better? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, but, I mean, seriously, if you look at the tips of these two knives next to each other, it's just like, come on, guys. And so I love, love, love the fact that they have made a knife here whose main purpose is cutting things. That seems like a silly thing to say, but by God, when they actually do it, it's amazing. And so, to me, that's what's great here is it is super, super slicey and just cuts like crazy with a great blade shape. And I, I just, I love the front of this freaking knife. It's amazing. Um, so, uh, there, there you go. That's the great is it cuts things. Go figure. Um, on the bad side, this sliciness does actually mean a more fragile tip and edge. If you are a, you know, stab the knife into the, 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 the piece of wood and bend it around type of person, I don't know why you're that kind of person, but if you are, you're going to crack this thing in half pretty quickly. Um, that sliciness means a slightly more fragile tip and edge. If you're batoning this guy through screws, probably not a great idea. It's not a pry bar blade. If you're after something that is going to be a holy crap, high speed, low drag, beefy, then this is not for you. But that's okay. I don't think a lot of people in their every day lives are after that. They're certainly the folks, and there are plenty of options for them out there. Frankly, there are more options than for slices, but still. Um, it still has a little bit of the Fisher-Price coloration. Look, we knives, I, I, I love the fact that they're doing things that aren't just black, but for some reason, their really pastel-y colors always feel toy-like to me. Well, not the end of the world, but it's just kind of a thing to keep in mind. Next thing, um, design-wise, this feels very much like another Wii Knives design. If you look at the back of this guy, frankly, if this guy had thicker stock, I wouldn't really give a crap about it. Um, but, you know, th that's what's saving this guy from being sort of an unremarkable Wii Knives design like the Vapor is. Um, but you know what? It's okay. It works ergonomically. I can't argue too much. So there you go. And then finally, on the bad side, 250 bucks is a fair chunk of change. I'll say that. But the thing is, if you look at one of the companies are giving you for 250 bucks. I don't feel like this is out of line. Combined with the inlay work, the titanium, the action, all of this, this is a $250 knife. I don't have a whole lot of trouble with it, but it is still a fair amount of money to pay for a pocket knife. So do keep that in mind. Um, but to me, all of that is the bad, is that it's a little bit pricey, but honestly, I, I don't have a problem with that price. There is a big part of me that is contemplating buying one of these guys at that price. Um, it is very much another Wii design. And as the uh, Fisher Price coloration, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, shine on your crazy diamonds. And then that sliciness is not going to be for everybody, particularly if you're a hard UC kind of person. Um, final conclusions. Oh, on the ugly front, nothing ugly here. So final conclusions. This is a stellar knife. Seriously. Because it's beautiful to carry. It's very nice in the pocket. It's beautiful to hold. Because um, it's really great in the hand. And it's, it's just gorgeously made because We Knives does good work. And honestly, this knife does the thing that most modern knives struggle most to do, which is to cut things. I mean, I'm, I'm being dramatic there, but it's so refreshing when you go from something that is crazy overbuilt, uh, you know, and, and ground relatively poorly uh, to something that really cuts. I mean, holy crap, guys. Seriously, look at this difference here. Yeah, that's going to be a big difference. And so I, I, I love, love, love that element of this. And frankly, I love most elements of this. The worst thing I have to say about this guy is that it's a little on the expensive side. But the thing is, if you look at what other makers are putting out at the same price, this is still coming out ahead. And so as a result, this is absolutely and totally a gem. They're making something that's really excellent, and they're doing it wonderfully. And it just combines something with this blade. And that, like I said, the blade is what makes this knife. If this were another half-inch freaking thick tactical blade, it, it, it wouldn't be of anything of particular note. But the fact that they've done that in there just gives this something a little bit excellent, a little bit compellingly different. It gives us something to, to, to write home about with the blade. It gives the knife a why. It gives this knife a reason to exist. And this can go into the pantheon of very slicey knives. You know, along with the rectifier, which is around here someplace. Here we go. We knives rectifier, also slicey as heck. 
but really, really, really well done and makes this guy stand out from the overall crowd. So overall, Wee Knives, well freaking done. I appreciate the progress that you made on the screws and on the, the numbers and whatnot. This is a really nice piece, and I think it really deserves a lot of recognition and ideally a long run of availability. Um, and so keep up the slicey work and the build quality and the aggressive pricing. And Wee, I gotta say, you are very, very easily going to be a maker to beat in, frankly, the knife world you keep this up. So well done, Wee. Absolute shining freaking gem. Really, really great knife. I'm half contemplating ordering one for myself. The only reason I, I, I haven't done it yet is just because I've got a lot of freaking knives. But this is, this is really good. So anyways, there you go. Hope this has been interesting and have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of the day. And I will whisper the end of this video because wisp, whisper, no. Eh, probably just came out as creepy. Eh, whatever, I tried. Hope this has been interesting. Have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.